मकर संक्रांति भोगी पंडी गए लोरी पोंगल उत्तरायण मकर विलक्को एंड बीहू आर ऑल फेस्टिवल सेलिब्रेटेड इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया ईच विद इट्स ओन यूनिक ट्रेडिशंस एंड कस्टम्स दीज फेस्टिवल्स आर टिपिकली एसोसिएटेड विद द हार्वेस्ट सीजन एंड द ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम विंटर टू स्प्रिंग एंड आर सेलिब्रेटेड विद ग्रेट एंथुजियाजम एंड जॉय मकर संक्रांति इज अ फेस्टिवल सेलिब्रेटेड ऑल ओवर इंडिया दो इट इज स्पेशली इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द स्टेट्स ऑफ गुजरात महाराष्ट्र एंड कर्नाटक इट इज टिपिकली सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द फोर्टीन डे ऑफ जनवरी एंड मार्क्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द हार्वेस्ट सीजन ऑन मकर संक्रांति पीपल फ्लाई काइट्स ऑफर प्रेयर्स टू द सन गॉड एंड एक्सचेंज स्वीट्स एंड गिफ्ट विद ईच आदर भोगी पंडी गाय is a festival celebrated in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is typically celebrated on the day before Pongal, which is the main harvest festival in Tamil Nadu. On Bogi Pandigai, people light bonfires in the streets and burn old clothes and household items to symbolize the destruction of the old and welcoming of the new. The festival is also marked by colorful parades and other celebrations. Lori is a festival celebrated in the Indian state of Punjab. It is typically celebrated on the 13th day of January and marks the end of the winter season. On Lori, people gather around bonfires and offer sweets, peanuts and other treats to the fire as a way of seeking blessings from the gods. The festival is also marked by traditional songs and dances and is seen as a time of joy and celebration. Pongal is the main harvest festival of Tamil Nadu and is typically celebrated on the 15th day of January. It is a four-day festival that coincides with Makar Sankranti and is marked by the boiling of the first rice of the season in a clay pot. On Pongal, people offer thanks to the sun god, the earth and the farm animals for the harvest and exchange sweets and gifts with each other. Uttarayan is a festival celebrated all over India. though it is especially important in the states of gujarat maharashtra and karnataka it marks the transition of the sun from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere and is seen as a time of renewal and new beginnings on uttarayan people offer prayers to the sun god and celebrate the lengthening of the days makar vilakku is a festival celebrated in the state of kerala It is typically celebrated on the 14th day of January and marks the end of the pilgrimage season to Sabri Mala temple. On Makar Vilakku, people gather at the temple to witness the appearance of a divine light which is believed to symbolize the presence of the deity. Bihu is a festival celebrated in the Indian state of Assam. It is typically celebrated on the 14th day of January and marks the beginning of the Assamese New Year. on bihu people offer prayers to the gods and celebrate the arrival of spring with traditional songs and dances overall bhogi pandigai lori makar sankranti pongal uttarayan makar vilakku and bihu are all harvest festivals they each have their own unique traditions and customs these festivals are an important part of the cultural heritage of india and are celebrated with great enthusiasm and joy by people of all ages they serve as a reminder of the abundance and prosperity that comes with the harvest season and are a time for people to come together to celebrate give thanks and make new beginnings